Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Humble Horologist. Guess what we're going to do today? We're going to talk about this watch that I promised I was going to talk about in comparison with this watch, which you all well know. What is it? Well, this is the Casio Duro MDV 106B in this case. And this is the Addis Dive 80 20 40. Is it a Casio killer? Let's find out. Okay, so I know that I've promised this for a long time, but I wanted to get into it real quick and get this video out to you as soon as possible. Right now is the AliExpress sale that's going on through the 8th, and that's just a couple of days left. And um, you can get this Addis Dive uh, AD2040 um, on sale, and you could probably get it for less than $30. I haven't checked the exact price. I don't have any affiliate links. I don't have anything to offer like that. All I can say is go to AliExpress, the, the app, or online, and go to the Addis Dive store and look up the AD2040, and you will find one of these in the green, the orange, or uh, red and yellow. I believe this is what they come in. Well, when I posted a video about this watch um, a while back, I was supposed to be getting this watch, and... I was not supposed to be getting it until my anniversary. That's June 18th. <laughs> my wife said I could order it, I could buy it, as long as she could give it to me for my anniversary. Well, I said, can I have it a little earlier? Because there's guys out there that want to know if they should go buy it. And so she was grace, gracious enough to let me go ahead and have it, you know. But, uh, <laughs> and you can see it comes in you know, it came in a box like this. Uh, here's what it looks like when uh, I just opened it up to, you know, have a look at it straight out of the box so that you can see what it looks like, how it's packaged. Very basic, very simple from Addy's Dive, but very secure. And uh, it's just a clean looking package. Well, here I am today to make some real comparisons and see, is this a watch that could really knock out the Casio in a fight? Well, you know, one of these is not Mike Tyson, but it's a heavy hitter. So one is maybe Jake Paul and the other is Mike Tyson. I don't know, but hopefully it'll be a better match than that's going to be. We will see. But let's focus the camera down on these two watches and let's look at some basics and see what you think about this comparison. All right, guys, here we have the contenders. We don't want them to actually beat on each other because, you know, we don't want to mess anything up. Um, but as Jory Goodman, the time teller, would say, it is 8.30 p.m. And let's get down to business to steal a line from him. Here we are. Here we have the Casio Duro, the MDV 106 with B at the end, because this is the blue version. I had a black one. I wish it still did, but I sold it. Um, and here is the Addis Dive AD2040. Now, the question that I originally had is this watch, this Addis Dive, is it a contender to knock the Casio off of the throne when it comes to being the best overall beater watch? Well, Let's just say this. It really all depends on a lot of factors. <laughs> it, it really, you know, there's things that are going to be uh, dependent upon your prejudices, your preconceived notions, your purposes. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of things that are going to be based on the individual and what that person wants. But when we look at the basics of these two watches, um, there's a lot um, going for the Addis Dive at half the price, okay? So let's, let's look at some similarities. The Casio is stainless steel, 316L stainless steel case, and the Addis Dive is 316L stainless steel. 
The Casio has a mineral crystal, which is a hardened mineral crystal, and so does the Addy's Dive. The dial itself, I believe, if you want to be honest with you, if you want me to be honest, I think the sunburst dial on the Casio is a better dial. I mean, it's a pretty beautiful dial, even at this price range. But on the uh, Addy's Dive, you have a black enamel dial that uh, is very nice for what it is. I mean, it's just simple black enamel. Um, the indices on both are applied. Uh, you could almost, they're, they're almost about the same size. Uh, I think though, the Addy's Dive uh, indices are just a little bit bigger, which takes up, you know, more space on the dial. And I think that in, in some cases, it really looks better um, you know, the, the Casio, if you're just comparing the two, and, and this is a matter of preference, of course, but I, I think that um, there's a little bit too much space uh, on the Casio. But, you know, that's that's personal opinion. Now, when you look at the bezel, we start to get into some uh, differences here. The bezel on the Casio is aluminum, and the bezel on the Addy's Dive is stainless but the difference there being this one is not going to scratch and it's a lot more textured. This one you have to be careful with because like I had with the black one that I got rid of, it did have a small little scratch, but that's just character if you're just going to use it as a beater watch. But if you want to keep them perfect, well, you know, this is going to be a little bit more durable. The size here is 41 millimeter, the case size. And the case size of the Casio is a little bigger, which is 44. Now, but when you get into the case themselves, I think that you do see a difference in you're getting what you're, you're paying for. Um, but the Casio, and you can look at other videos and, and, and take a look at how, you know, there are macro shots and so on and so forth. But the, the finishing on the Casio is definitely better. And I apologize for the fingerprints and stuff, but the polishing, the uh, beveled or the chamfered uh, edges. I mean, there's a, a real nice distinction there. That's classy. The brushing is really nice. And uh, you can see it just makes a nice uh, delineation between the top brushing and the side polishing. It's just a nice transition. The Addy's Dive looks wise. It's just very basic. It's got a a decent brushing on the top, but then on the sides, it is uh, fully polished. Okay. Now, here's something else you might want to consider. Uh, the crown on the, uh, on the Casio is not signed, and it is protected by crown guards pretty well. It is easy to turn and it is very smooth as it screws down, but it is not as easy to grip. The Addy's Dive, I'd say, is much easier to grip. It's got a lot more uh, grippiness to it, uh, more bite, so to speak, and is actually a signed crown. So it's easier to grab a hold to, it's a little bit bigger, and sticks out beyond the crown guards. Okay, what else can we say? Well, what's on the inside? Well, believe it or not, now you can say, well, one of these is a Chinese watch and one of them is a Japanese watch. But if you look closely, <laughs> the Casio is a Japanese watch, but it was cased in China. This is a Chinese brand watch, but it has the same movement as the Casio. That's right, both watches have the same Miyota 2115 quartz movement beating away on the inside. So dependability wise, there's not going to be any difference in the movement. There's no difference in the quality of the steel. The bezel is going to be a little bit tougher and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's going to last just as much as this one. Now let's turn it over on the back. What have we got? 
Well, both are have both have uh, screw down case backs, which adds to the water resistance. Both have a 200 meter water resistance rating, and uh, this one is more like the Rolex type of uh, grip on the back, as opposed to uh, the kind like the Casio has, where you can easily put a tool in. But you only have to do this, you know, very infrequently. You don't turn around so you can actually look at it right side up. Uh, the batteries are to last, you know, at least three years. So nothing to worry about there. Now, when you do get the Casio, this is an aftermarket strap. It comes on a very cheap black strap, which you probably would want to change out. And if you did want to change it out, you'll have to have a tool to do it because why? It's not going to be a uh, easy change without a tool. However, right out of the box, this rubber, not silicone, but rubber strap on the Addy's Dive has already quick release straps. If you want to change this strap, you can do it and do it easily. But why would you? This is a nice strap. And look at the, look at the, the, uh, the curvature. I mean, it, it comes with it so it fits your wrist better and uh, it's tapered in thickness. Uh, it, it, it works really well. I've worn this to work. I've been perfectly happy with this watch. It is, it is easy to read, uh, it is noticeable, and it's fun. By the way, let's listen to the bezel and see how well they turn. Let me hold it at the microphone. It's easy to turn. It's, you know, one direction. And, uh, no big deal there. Now the Casio, on the other hand, it's got a much more distinct click to it, much more solid bezel, I think. It's got a def, you know, more audible click to it, more precise. And I think that uh, it would be better of a tool than the Addy's Dive. It's just not quite as refined on the Addy's Dive. Okay. What's one more thing though? One more thing that I can show you about this watch that uh, I like when it comes to comparing the two. The loom on this Addy's Dive blew my mind. I want you to look at this. I'm going to just take a flashlight and I'm going to just shine these up a little bit, try not to uh, blind you there. I'm going to turn off all my lights in this room and I want you to see the difference. What do you think about that? Straight, you know, right with just the light from a flashlight, not sunlight, but just light from a flashlight. The Addy's Dive has BGW9 Superluminova. Can you believe that? On a $30 watch? And guys, let me tell you, I have literally picked this watch up. Well, I've actually worn it through the night. And I have woken up early in the morning and I have looked over at my wrist and I could tell what time it was without any problem whatsoever. The loom on this Addy's Dive lasts all night long. And look, this is where the Casio is already. Well, all right. That's it on my wrist now. It is a nice strap with a nice solid buckle, stainless steel. I think it looks good. Is it better than the Casio? Would it win in a fight? I think it's a draw in many ways. When you consider the history, the reliability, the toughness that Bill Gates wears one <laughs> of the Casio up against a relatively newcomer and a Chinese watch at that, Addy's Dive, this one has some strong points. This one has a lot of strong points and a little more heritage. So, uh, it's really, it's really close, but I have been enjoying wearing the Addy's Dive 
And I can confidently tell you, go get one before the sale's over. All right, well, there you go. I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope it was informative and I hope it gives you a good reason to go out and buy this little watch. I've enjoyed it. I can recommend it. And, um, you know, go pick you up one, go order you one, and you will not be disappointed. Thanks for watching. If uh, you would leave a comment below, like and subscribe to this channel. Um, and thank you for your support. Until the next video, which we will be looking at a Davosa Swiss watch, which we have unboxed. Um, until the next time, remember, watches are replaceable. Time is not. Use it wisely. God bless.